Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll talk about jock. What is jock and where to use the jock? Why we need to use this jock? Without further delay, let's get started. So jock is nothing but Java object oriented query. So here you can able to generate the SQL queries using this jock. So while working with the Spring Boot application, if you want to deal with any database operations, we are using like ORM, right? With the same, instead of using the ORM, we can use this juke also. So what is the difference between this uh, ORM and juke means in the ORM level, first we are creating the entity classes. But while coming to the juke, first we need to define the database tables, then based on the other time of compile time only, it will generate the Java classes for the database schemas. How it will be generated, then we will see all these things in today's video. And what are the advantages we will get in the JAK means? JAK is nothing but the type shape sequence. So SQL can generate it based on the Java code. And uh, so you can use the complex SQLs. So okay, it will support like joins. Also, it will support any kind of SQL query you can write using this uh, type safety. But uh, if you are using the ORM, so joins will be not supported, right? So there is a limited uh, control on the SQL using this ORM. So there is a code generator in the juke level. So you can use that uh, generator. So for that one, we need to add the configurations in the form.xml file to generate those uh, classes. Juke only runs on the queries. What are the queries you are written into the uh, code level? So there is no hidden lazy loading and there is no session management. There is no proxies like uh, Hibernate or uh, JPA. Okay. So let's uh, see how to create the Spring Boot application using this Juke now. So now we'll set up uh, Spring Boot application with the Juke. So for that one, we need to go to the standard Spring.io and we'll add all the dependencies so here i'm selecting the build tool as a maven and here i'm using com dot java codex as a package i'm giving and here i'm using com dot java codex and java version i'm using 70 and we'll add the dependencies one is for web another one is for uh, lumbar and another one is for juke so if you see juke access layer dependency so this is the dependency we need to add to use the juke okay then you can generate this one so it is generated and now we'll import this project into intellij id Now I have imported this Juke project into the IntelliJ ID and if you see the palm.xml file, uh, so here is we are using dependencies like Juke and another one is web and another one is for database uh, dependency, I am using MySQL connector, okay, this is for database related dependency, okay, and there is a one more uh, plugin we need to add into the palm.xml related to the juke if you see this build this is the build tool so here i'm using like juke code generator is mavens okay this is the generator so when i'm using this generator it will automatically generating the pojo classes from the schema okay so if you see here is my database connection related details driver name url username and password so here i'm using mysql so mysql database url is this one and this is my username this is my password okay so before that one we need to create a few tables into the database so in my database i have created department as well as a employee so in our application we can see employee and department uh, relationship one multiple employees comes under one department right so the that kind of relationship will maintain and will perform one read and one insert operation okay so here this is my project structure and if you see this is my Spring Boot main class we have only Spring Boot application and here is my controller already we know how to create the controller and all so this is my basic controller so here I am having only one post mapping using insert employees another one is get mapping using get all employees okay so here I am having the service class so this is the service class will play the 
major role into the juke okay so here if you see we are using dsl context so if you want to perform any kind of insertion or if you want to perform any kind of read operations all the operations you can perform using this dsl context okay so first we can see the insertion so here this insertion employ method will call from the controller and if you see this sql query like dsl dot insert into so here is my pojo classes like employee and i am setting the employee name as well as the employee id along with department id so here i am using the execute method so it will insert the data into the database another one is get all employees so it will retrieve all the employees available in the database so if you see here i am writing the joins if you observe this query so i am selecting the data from the employee table and joining with the department where employee department id equal to department id so if this uh, condition is satisfied then only it will fetch all the uh, records from the database from the department as well as the employee table okay and if you so while retrieving i'm defining one dtbo class here. this is for employee class. this is the integer id and uh, string as a name play id employee name and this is the department if you observe this department is coming from the pozo so how to generate this pozo uh, we'll see that one now so we, we need to come to the terminal and here we need to run one mbn generate source when you are run this core mbn generate source it will generate automatically pojo classes for the schema so those schema we are configured in the form.xml file what is the schema we need to choose for example if you see my form.xml file so here is my form.xml file in the form.xml file i have configured like ah uh, uh, i have configured like this here is my database thing set right? so if you observe here input schema is we are using like test so if you see in my database so the, this is the test schema i am using in my sql so whatever the table is available in the under this schema it will automatically generate the pojo classes okay so where this pojo classes will generated i will show you now so if you see this one uh, if you observe this log while running this now if you observe these logs okay so here we see this log information juke okay from here it is uh, writing the data from the log console okay so what kind of uh, schemas it is needed and all this information you can able to see in this one so see here so it is having department.java and another one is for employee.java so employee is the input and primary key this is one here is the department id for and key in the department underscore primary so it is created generated pose like department as well as the employee okay and you can see those uh, details under target folder and the source target generate sources and juke so here is the pojo classes so these are the pojo classes generated by the juke so here you can see that the package com dot java codex dot juke dot generated com dot java codex dot dot generated under this it will be generated all the pojo classes okay so if you want to test this application you can test from this postman okay so first of all you can run this application so application is started go to the postman and here i'm using this uh, get method initially uh, so already i have some data in the employee table so i can perform the get uh, operation then you so uh, it is written 200 and you can see the data from the table it is written in the data okay so if you want to insert the data you can go with the post and you can add some data so here i'm using like the java codex and uh, this is the employee class as well as the department right so this is the employee details and this here is the department table related information right so if you observe our controller class this controller class is expecting employee d2 as a input so so this is the controller class so in the controller class here is a post mapping so it is expecting employee d2 as an input if you open this uh, employee d2 class So it is having id name as well as the department so id is auto generated so i'm not specifying i'm giving the employee name as well as the department only to insertion okay so department id i'm giving one so right now in the how many departments is available in our database uh, 
database you can uh, see in the department column so department one two three departments are available okay so i can change this department to two and you can insert this see now data is inserted if you want you can query the data to see that the java codex is inserted or not in the database here table this is the four is already available i five already available six also available seven also available if you see this is the latest entry java codex and id is equal to two name is equal to hr it is inserted because our two is belongs to the department like hr okay so like this you can uh, perform this uh, database operations using the joke thank you for watching